Hello everyone, it's is Sahil and welcome you all to my channel. Thank you for such great responses for the Mediterranean Sea and the Italian town by the sea painting. Today I have decided to paint one more such painting of this category. I have done this using acrylic colors on 14 by 18 inch canvas. So hope you like the video and let's get started. So first of all I have drawn the drawing directly on the canvas and for the pillars I have applied the paper tape. You can get the paper tape in any hardware shop or any stationery shop. So I have I used flat brush number 10 and white color. Now I am using sten stencil brush number 10 or make and makeup brush and sky blue colors and I am merging using the makeup brush. So this is nothing but a light blue color sky. So now I am taking sky blue, white, mauve and uh, using brush flat 10, I am painting the mountain. So the mountain is having light purplish shade. The previous color is added with more light blue and mauve color and flat brush number 1 or angular brush is used here. So you can use either of them. So when the colors that is the light purple color is uh, semi dried then we will apply the bluish tinge on it. Now I am using the previous color plus white more white to give highlights to the mountain. A filbert brush number 2 is used here you can either use a flat brush number 1. Fifty mm flat brush and white color is used to paint the clouds over the mountain. Tape is used to, uh, to make the horizon straight. Sky blue color is used for the scene. I have removed the tape now. Round brush number 00 and white color is used to paint the small houses near the foot of the mountain. White plus coral, red plus maroon plus golden yellow is used uh, to make the roof of those uh, houses. Cerulean blue which is more darker than light blue is used to paint the horizon line. Water is added to the cerulean blue and now I am painting the waves. Angular brush number 2 is used here. After using cerulean blue, I have added pale emerald and cerulean blue and I am giving greenish tinge to the sea. To that pale emerald and a cerulean blue color I have added white and I am uh, giving those strokes onto the seam. So we should remember while painting the seam uh, we should always give horizontal strokes so th they look like as if they are waves. So now I am using flesh tint and white color and the same brush. Now added a flesh tint and white and pale emerald and light blue color to it to make that skin color more bluish in color. White color is used for the waves that are splashing onto the sand. Wine like brown white and light blue color is due to a dark dark shade to the sand
using white color and round brush number 00 and painting the reflection of those houses onto the water to paint the floor first of all i'm applying the paper tape and i'm giving flesh tint and white color using flat brush number 8 so i haven't painted the dining table Using stencil brush number 10 and white plus flesh tint and golden yellow. I'm just tapping the stencil brush onto the semi-dried previous color. Van Dyke brown is added to the previous color and the same stencil brush is used. And after applying the paint using stencil brush, I have used a sponge to merge those colors. Further shades are given again by stencil brush. The edges of the floor are made sharp. Now I'm removing the tape. Now let's paint the cloth on the dining table. So it's nothing but light blue and mauve color and flat brush number two. There are two dining tables, so we'll paint the cloth on them. White color is added to, into it, and more mauve color is added to make lighter shade of it. The underneath cloth is light in color. Same for the other dining table too. I've applied tape on other two sides of the pillar. Now I'm using sponge and a flesh tint white, purple and very less black color. I'm just tapping the sponge onto those pillars. More black color is added to the previous color. Flat brush number one is used to, to give a somewhat shades or shadows to the pillar. So the previous color is semi dried here. More darker color is given by adding black to it. I'm giving the tape now. White color and flat brush number one is, is used to give highlights to the pillar. The last pillar for the highlights. white plus light blue and mauve color and flat brush number one to give highlights on the top of the dining table some drapery for the cloth Now I'm using white color, pale emerald, sapphire color and round brush number 0 or uh, you can either use rigor brush 2 slash 0. So now I've started painting, there are 3 coconut trees in total. 
using this color and giving the base color for the coconut trees. So Van Dyke Brown is used for the bark of the coconut tree. The same rigor 2 slash 0 brush is used here. White, pale, emerald, sap green, cerulean blue and ultramarine blue is used to give some darker and bluish shades to the coconut tree. For the upper portions, ultramarine blue is not added to the color. Light green color is, is used to give some greenish tinge to the coconut trees. Black color is used for the railing. Black and sap green color and round brush number 0 or rigor 2 slash 0 brush is used for one more coconut tree which is below of the other coconut tree. Using the same sand green and black color, I'm painting the bushes on the other side too. The same sand green and a black color is used to give more darker shades to the coconut tree. The color of the coconut tree is looking really very nice. Light green and sap green color is used to give highlights to the coconut tree. The same color is used to give highlights to the bush bushes too. Golden yellow color is used to give highlights and somewhat yellowish tinge to the coconut trees and the bushes. Sap green, white, golden yellow and light green color is used with the round brush number 0.
white pen and scale is used yeah Again, we are back for the railing. I'm using black color and the finest brush. You can use your triple zero round brush for this. There are imaginary stairs which takes us to the beach and those stairs have railing too. So I'm using scale for this for perfect straight lines. Van Dyke Brown and Magenta color is used to paint the huge planting pot. Sap green and black color is used with round brush number zero. So these are nothing but the creepers which are coming from the first floor to the ground floor so these are done using sap green and black color the planting pot consists of a huge plant the base color of the plant is given using black and sap green color white pen is used to give some highlights to the railing Burnt sienna and white color is used for painting the chairs. First, we'll paint the base of the chairs. Then, we'll paint the back of the chair, which has some sort of design on it. Then it's like this. Now we are switching to Van Dyke Brown, means we are using the same brush. And just we're switching to Van Dyke brown color. So we have completed our two chairs. For the two chairs, the same colors would be used. Van Dyke brown and water is added to make, uh, added to it to make it transparent, and the shadows are created beneath the chairs. Sap green and black color is used for the bushes. Light green and sap green color is added together, and then now we are giving highlights to the creepers.
golden yellow color is used deep green color is used to give somewhat bright green color tinge to the creepers using angular brush number 2 and combination of lots of colors such as magenta white coral red and permanent rose i am painting the flowers round brush number 0 and white color is used some white color on the creepers too dark green color and this we have completed our painting Hope you have liked the video and if you have liked the video do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if not subscribe it yet until then bye